Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming. We got some repacks. Uh, again with the repacks, I've said it in every video. They're a way for sellers to just dump their collection, all right? So the odds are against you that you're going to make out on these. But in the slim occasion where you do make out on these, uh, I hope to be one of those people. And that's why I still get these and we have fun with them. And just review sellers and see if they're good, see if they're bad. The seller has no idea who I am um, or that they're shipping it to me, etc., etc. Really quick, this one's coming from CC ncomics.com that's the name of their website uh, or that's the name of their um, YouTube or not YouTube, their eBay account so there is that let me pause really quick, what the hell can we find inside uh, the title is MTG Repacks yes we're doing things a little different than this one MTG Repacks Revised Booster Dark Ixalan Foils, Beta, Antiquities, Legends is what it says and I bought four of these here's what you get, one brand new sealed booster pack from Revise or Ixalan and everything in between, most will receive a recent booster. One in 30 will receive a booster from an older expansion. One in 30. Two pre-made boosters each pack will have the same uh, assortment as a... Let me just make sure there's nothing in here. I can pull this out. Okay, yeah, I need to get that out of here. Okay, that is gone. Everything else can just come on out of here. Skink. Is that it? That's it. All right. Um, two pre-made boosters each pack will have the same assortment as a regular booster with cards from beta up. One rare, three uncommons, and eleven commons. Five random foils from any set best deal out there. Three booster packs in, in total, plus five foils from any set. Uh, anyway, there's some more information here. I'm just not going to read it. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. It's older. You know, we got a... Okay, we got a Chronicles, which will be fun to open. I haven't never opened a Chronicles on the channel. I mean, it's just not worth much, but same with Fallen Empires. Uh, very old. Th these will be fun to open. I mean, that's cool. It's not the dark or anything. Uh, we got a Ravnica booster pack as well. And lastly, an Hour of Devastation. All right, so... Eh. I paid... I was $9... Was it $9.99 a pack... For $9.99 for one of these repacks. What is it? How did he do this? This is very different. Uh, I guess let's start with this. We'll save the packs for last. Oh, man, this is not a good idea. I'm already, I, I kind of want to give the seller a thumbs down on this because th if there's anything of value in here, it's just, you, you can't get to it without damaging it. Uh, not happy with the shipping at all. I don't like this. Not cool. My mood just totally changed. Um, yeah, uh, bad way to ship. I ship with these things, but I also use like uh, a sleeve. I sleeve whatever I put in them. It's just so it doesn't get wet um, in case, you know, some craziness were to happen during shipping. But uh, I also don't stuff it with more than like five cards. So there's that. Swampy. Proteus Staff. Uh, again, I don't know the value of everything on these, so that's where you guys come into play and help a brother out. Why he put these all together like that, I do not know. That's kind of weird also. Um, if these are individual repacks, why is he doing it that way? That's another good question. I don't understand that. Yeah, I don't understand that. Okay. Uh, Proteus Staff. Put target creature on the bottom of its owner's library. That creature's controller reveals cards from the top of his library until he or she reveals that creature card. The player puts that card into play and the rest on the bottom of his or her library in any order. Place ability only any time you could play a sorcery. There you go. And we got a flash fires up in this piece. All planes in play are destroyed. Pretty nasty card. Just, uh, oh, you're playing white. Uh, about to sideboard in my flash fires here. There you go. All right, let's go at it. Good luck. Shake hands. <laughs> Game over. Yeah, shutting down. What is that? What is this chump? I don't know what that is. Clockwork Beetle. We got one of those. It's cool there's some older cards here. Um, but I'm not happy with the shipping yet. Electrostatic Bolts. Just look at this. This is the most basic, plain card I've ever seen in my life. The artwork just, just makes me want to hit my head against a wall. Uh, Randy Gallegas is the one that did that. I mean, it, it bolt deals two damage to target creature. If it's an artifact creature, electrostatic bolt deals four damage to it instead. Yeah, it's not a bad card. 
But that artwork is freaking awful. If, if you're a fan of this artwork, I gotta know. Uh, you might need your head examined. Uh, Pyrite Spellbomb. Kaboom! That's fun. Alpha Mirror. Really now? That's a bold statement, son. Welding Jar. Good old welder. A lot of old stuff here. Predator Strike. Okay. Ooh, I see some shiners. Insight War. That's what I'm talking about. It's all just... No, I'm just kidding. Don't go to war. Uh, Nim Shrieker. Nim Shrieker. I guess plus one plus zero for each artifact you control. Nice. Norox Spy. It's unblockable. Ooh, look at that. Old ass land. Gotta love it. Anza Island. What set is that? I, I, I always get this one wrong. I always say Apocalypse, and it's not Apocalypse. It's, some, it's something else. Uh, what um Transmutation. Wow. Look at... I don't know if that's like errored out but i mean look at that instant you can hardly make it out on the card is this even real i mean i don't know why you would fake a transmutation to be honest no yeah it, yeah, it's real just weird though uh how faded glory that is i guess that's cool so a transmutation from legends that's what that is there pretty dope um, this looks like some other language. Was it Spanish, maybe? French? I'm terrible at that. Another Legends card. Some Goblin Gaze. It's them Goblin Gaze. Pirate Token. Some uh, an Island. A couple of Uncommons. I mean, this guy just... Why, why is it so disorganized? Why Why are you so disorganized, guy? Dark Nourishment? Like, I need to know. Um, all right, we got a Vicious... Scooter. Here's uh, Emperor's Vanguard. So we got a rare up in here. It's a second rare. Exali's Keeper. Times two. Couple Siren Lookouts. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. Vampire Azul. Some more bulk. Some more commons. Now, why are these this way? Um, I guess we can go like this. We got a pirate token. All right, that is something. That is something here. Stormfleet Spy, Stormfleet Arsonist, Deathless Ancient. Right now, this is not looking too hot, guys. Uh, Dream Caller Siren. This is looking really awful, to be honest. I'm. I. I am glad I do repack reviews, so you know, never to buy from certain sellers. <laughs> Uh, this guy, I'm gonna have to say, uh, hands down, is, is more than likely gonna be one of those sellers. Um, not to buy from. Uh, inexorable blob. I mean, what, so we got, like, four rares, bulk, all four just crappy bulk rares. Uh, Proteus Staff... Uh, before I can conclude something, I'd rather look, I want to look that up, because right now, I mean, this is pretty freaking gosh darn awful there, Billy Bob. Um, again, this seller's name is ccncomics.com. That's their name on eBay as a seller. Uh, let's see if it's worth anything. I don't think it is, though. What the hell did I do with it? Um, Proteinius? Proteus staff. I mean, it sounds familiar. No, it's 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 freaking like a dollar. Okay, so I have concluded <clears throat> from this pile here, it's not looking good at all. Maybe this can redeem everything. I I don't know. Well, we're gonna find out together. Here we go. Noble vestige. Merfolk Sea Stalkers. Tap target creature without flying. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, it's two, three. Safe Passage. Skitter of Lizards. It's a funny name. I'll give it that. Skitter of Lizards. Enclave Elite. Nice. Air Servant. These are all foils, by the way. Rise from the Grave. Azor Drake. Goblin Arsonist. Praise Vengeance. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Alpha Tyranax. Tyre. Tyre. Tyranax. It's a 6 5 beast. I mean, that's really it. They, it's whatever. It's a common. Life Smith. Nice. Viridian Revel. Volshock Berserker. Are oh, you Berserker? Oh, Shadow. Shatterfoil. Bloodshot Trainee. Norak Replica. Messenger Jays. 
Ooh, fencer click. Put fencer click on top of its owner's library. It's a three two. Four to bring out flyer. Fistful of force. Oh my god, it's my new favorite card name right there. Fistful of force. I never knew a fistful of force existed. What does it do? Target creature gets plus two plus two until the end of turn. Clash with an opponent. If you win, that creature gets an additional plus two plus two against Trammel until the end of turn. That's funny. Uh, that is fun. That that is fun. There's an older uh, little foilage there. And a metamorphosis. Put target permanent and opponent controls on top of its library. That opponent may put an artifact creature in shaman or land card from his or her hand into play. <sighs> I don't think we got much value there. Um, I, I guess I could say good effort, sir. Um, let's crack open this first. Good effort, but uh, yeah, I there there's just nothing here to get excited about. I mean, there there's nothing, no good pools, nothing, nada. I mean, unless we get lucky on these packs, that is the last hope we have here. Ramming up ruins, it's banned because I pulled a banned card. No, bad. I'm just kidding. That, that that's that's completely random. It's not on him. Hour of Eternity is our rare. I mean, that's something there. I not really. Uh, Ram and I got banned. <laughs> All right, let's see what has lasted here. Let's go at Fallen Empires. Why not? Um, there are some there. There are misprints in here like crazy. I remember when I was a kid, there was tons of uh, misprinted stuff um, or miscut. A lot of miscut stuff, really. Rating party. Look at the bend on that. I'm just saying. Look at the bend on that. You see that? Holy. Smokers. <laughs> this is the card quality from back in the day. Uh, Vodalian Mage. It could have been in probably somewhere moist. It was probably in a moist place. Him of Turok. No, him to Turok's not bad. Elver Scout. So the rare was what? Uh, Initiates of the Eben Hand. It's a garbage card. I think that's what that was our rare. But we got a uh, him of Turok, so that's not too bad. You basically almost guaranteed one in every single pack. <laughs> uh, back in the day. <clears throat> no, but like I'd say one out of every like five packs had one. Yeah, that makes it. Yeah, that's about right. If uh, my memory serves me correct, which it it's usually does not ever. So Sphinx Revelation, it is a mythic, so that's kind of decent. Nothing to get too excited over. You gain X life and you draw X cards. All right, we got a night token. That'll come in handy dandy. Yay. Especially with all the... Dominaria going on. I'm just going to make a mess here. That's fine. That's fine. Is it, is it okay with you guys? I'm just going to make a little mess here. Right next to my happy little tree. All right, so this is the Chronicles pack. Man, it's been forever since I opened a Chronicles pack. Wow, it's been freaking so long, man. Uh, so here's up in Chronicles. A rabbit wombat. The land's edge. Petra Sphinx. Look at that Sphinx over there, right? Fish liver oil. <laughs> War elephant. A wall of vapor. A lot of people get these cards. Goblin Shrine, cool card. A lot of people get these cards confused with, like, the Dark or Legends. Um, or what else? Antiquities, Arabian Nights. Just because the symbol's in there. No, if it's got a white border, guys, it's Chronicles all day. There you go. Uh, Gazban Ogre, noise. Bog Rats from the dark. Urza's Tower, that's cool. I, I do see these cards going in, uh, down in price a little bit, though. All the Urza lands and Tron lands, I can see them t going down slightly. But pulling the Urza's Tower was pretty neat. Ashnod's Transmogrant. So, decent pull right there. We will take it. If it was the original one from there, it'd be worth a pretty penny, but, you know, what are you going to do? All right, guys, that about wraps it up. Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, I, I I don't think so. I don't think I'd buy from him again. Uh, I I just, I wouldn't do it. Uh, yeah, and you don't hear me say that too often. Well, I usually give a thumbs up, thumbs down, or rarely, lately, two thumbs up. I think that happened in a couple, but no, don't do it, guys. That's all I got to say. Uh, as always, PLA.